Let's move on to our fourth and final main topic today. And our fourth and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Abdi M, who writes, Hello, John. With August almost upon us, what are the chances that the Academy Awards actually happen this year? I know they already delayed it and made some adjustments for the qualifying, but wouldn't there come a point where they just have to surrender the year or do you think they hold the ceremony with however many eligible movies they have? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Abdi. And full disclosure on this, this question was actually sent in over a week ago. So this was a question that was actually sent a week ago. Well, then why bring it up and talk about it now? The reason I bring up this question now, and I went back to, to dig it up from Abdi, is because I was having a text conversation with somebody yesterday who is a voting member of the Academy. And they said something rather interesting to me. Now, before I, we talk about what it is they said, let's go back a couple of steps to examine where we are right now. Now, of course, the Academy Awards are supposed to come out in February. The eligibility deadline, but like by the time, the time deadline that your movie needs to meet in order to be eligible for the Academy Awards is February is you got to meet the eligibility requirements by December 31st of this year, right? Well, what happened? The coronavirus came out. A whole ton of movies have been delayed for months and months and months and months. And not too long ago, back in June, early June, so a little over a month ago, the Academy came out and said, okay, we're going to move our thing to April 25th from February. And we're going to extend our deadline from December 31st to late February, which is a vast departure from what they normally do. So that's where we're at right now. So the Oscars already a month ago made some adjustments. They also changed some of the eligibility eligibility rules to reflect the unusual times that we're in. They stretched the deadline from December 31st to late February, and they moved the award ceremony into April on April 25th. That's where we have been at. Now, that situation has changed even more. And just let me bring up the actual text conversation I was having here because I wanted to read this. So this friend of mine and I were discussing this a little bit. And then he finally said, uh, by the way, I don't think it's happening. To which I replied in all caps, wait, explanation point. Is that for sure? Are they going to announce this? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Because that's me digging for info. To which they wrote to me the following. They said this, let me put it this way. Now, remember, this is coming from a voting member of the Academy. Let me put it this way. A month ago, canceling the thing, canceling the Oscars was not on the table. So a month ago, when they came out with all those changes we just talked about, he said back then that wasn't on the table. So a month ago, canceling the thing wasn't on the table. Today it is, and it's being seriously talked about. I mean, they'll hold on as long as they can. But unless something drastically changes soon, I'd expect a formal PR. I assume PR means press release. I'd expect a formal PR relatively soon. Let me read that again. Let me put it this way. A month ago, canceling the thing, canceling the 2021 Oscars, canceling the thing wasn't on the table. Today it is. And it's being seriously talked about. I mean, they'll hold on as long as they can. But unless something drastically changes soon, I'd expect a formal PR, which I, again, interpret to mean press release relatively soon. Rob, we've been talking about the issue of the Academy Awards and, and what they could do or might not do. You know, it was a common sense move that they made a little over a month ago to shift the thing uh, by a couple of months, move the eligibility date by a couple of months. That was great. But this was at the beginning of July that they, or the beginning of June when they made these announcements. Back when there was still some hope and actually some realistic hope that Tenet was going to come out on July 17th, that Mulan was going to come out shortly after. We are living in a new set of circumstances now where, you know, the, the COVID stuff is spiking over the country, although we do now have them saying they're going to put it out on September 4th. But a lot of stuff has already been bumped, not just off their original release dates, Rob, but a lot of stuff, even in the month since that change, a lot more things have been bumped to 2021, well beyond the eligibility dates that they've already set. This is a game, Rob, where the rules have been changing day by day, depending on the new information yeah. that comes to light and all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, but Rob, again, I am hearing that they are now, the Academy is now seriously considering saying, look, what are we, even if we hold on to this thing, what movies are we going to have? Like, are, are we going to nominate, you know, for best actor, Vin Diesel and Bloodshot? I'm a big Vin Diesel fan. Don't come, you know I'm a big Vin Diesel fan, but, you know, Bloodshot wasn't his best work. Are we going to talk about nominate for best picture? Sonic. <laughs> And, and I, I don't know what, I mean, seriously, that's what they're kind of looking at. And I know it creates a logistical nightmare to cancel them. And just to say everything that would have been eligible for this year is all going to be lumped into the following year. I know that creates a logistical nightmare, but a logistical nightmare might be the only option left on the table. Rob, let me ask you this. What do you think the chances are that the Oscars do ultimately here? Just pull the plug. And how much longer do you, at what point do you think is the cutoff? Do you think, hey, look, if if we don't get the theaters fully open again by September, they got to just cancel the Oscars. Is it October? Is it November? I mean, do you think they'll pull the plug on this? And if so, when do you think is their drop dead date? When do you think is that date that, okay, at this point is the point of no return. We just can't do it. What do you think about this? Well, I mean, as I'm I'm looking here at how many categories there are in the Oscars, you know, the actors, let's see, one, two, three, four, there's like 20 categories, 25 categories. There's a lot of categories. Each one of those has, say, five nominees of however many movies come out. So you're looking at, you're looking at over a hundred, uh, over a hundred different people get nominated for Oscars. And they they have to they're being drawn from say, I don't know a thousand movies. We just don't have enough films that are going to be released this year to make the Oscars a legitimate competition. The whole idea of it is to honor the best of the best. We don't even have enough movies to fill out any of those lists. And I think if they gave out the Oscars this year, the real question is, would they even be? Could we even? Is there enough films that we can even judge to to and fairly judge that that live up to the standards of what the whole Oscars was supposed to be? And I think they're they're weighing their options like, well, we just don't have enough material to give out the Oscars this year. It's no one's fault. You know, it was a situation that arose. It's not what we certainly didn't want this to happen. But to keep the Oscar ceremony legitimate and to keep it what it's always been, they just don't have, let's call it natural resources. You know, their natural resources that they live and die by are movies. And are there enough? So I think I think ultimately uh, they're probably going to cancel the Oscars. And I think, wow, on the outset, I think by the end of September, they'll finally call it. Because I think some people might be holding out hope, like, well, wait, like we said at the top of the hour, if Tenet's coming out, maybe there's hope that we'll have enough movies coming out between September and the end of the year that we can have a horse race, we can have an Oscar ceremony. So maybe, but we'll have to see where we're at. Because like you said, John, this is an ever-changing situation. But I, I just, I don't even think like as a long time, you and I both love the Oscars. We love the Oscars. We've been watching the Oscars since we were kids, would I want to watch an Oscar ceremony for this year? Could I get excited about it? If, you know, if there's not like even the nominations, I know that there might be 15 worthy movies to win, to get a best picture nomination. And, and now would there even be five? So it would seem like, I don't know if I had a film coming out this year and I was finally nominated for an Oscar and you won one this year, there would always be an asterisk by your name. Giant. You know, yeah. giant one you know what it reminds me of rob and you know i like my sports analogies but it reminds me of this if they tried because look let's say they even get the theaters open by september right when did the theaters shut down march was it march yeah. that the theater shut down yeah. Yeah. march april may june july august half the year was gone to me having an oscars this coming year and again i love the oscars i want it to happen blah 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 but we're getting and just a month ago rob i was like yep do this do this just a month ago i was saying yeah do this but we're in a different situation now and i feel like if you do if you were to do an oscars now with movies not really opening up till september it would be like watching an nfl preseason game i love football 
But I do not watch preseason games because, number one, they're meaningless, and none of the real players are on the field. I'm right. not dis- I'm not discrediting the players who are backup players. Of course, they're elite level athletes. I'm not. I'm just. But from a fan's point of view, you know, when I'm watching, you know, when Tampa Bay comes out to play, you know, the first scrimmage, it ain't gonna be Tom Brady playing quarterback. It's gonna be so. It's gonna be the B list that's on there. I don't care to watch. And of course, hundreds and hundreds of movies have still come out. So there's enough. There's the quantity is there if you want to make nominations. But the quality isn't there. And you're going to be getting a movie winning Best Picture at this year's Academy Awards that probably wouldn't have even gotten nominated at all had it been a regular year. And I just think that's getting too damaging. And again, I understand that moving it all to 2022 becomes a logistical nightmare and it creates more problems and it means it's going to be an extremely competitive year. I get that, but I would rather have a year at the Oscars that is overly competitive where maybe a couple of actors and a couple of pictures and a couple of cinematographers that would have won an Academy Award at some point won't because there was extra competition. I'd rather have that than people not deserving getting Oscars and us pretending to celebrate excellence in film when it's not the best of the best. So I I, kind of feel like, and you're saying end of September, I'm not going to go too different from you. I'm going to say, I think by the end of August, yeah, I think by the end of August, we're going to get that unless they just say, nope, hell or high water, we're going to do it, but we'll find out. Question you know, is for you guys. Oh, no, go ahead, Rob. What well, were you going to say? I was going to say, you know what could be interesting, though, and I don't know what form this would take, but in to replace the Oscars, maybe, I mean, assuming that people have large gatherings, maybe the Motion Picture Academy, in conjunction with the opening of their new museum, which they've been working on for years and years, it's going to open, that they could do some other kind of a show, a big show, like a three-hour show, you know, on ABC, that somehow celebrates the art of cinema in some way, shape, or form. So there's no award show, but you could get that kind of star-studded turnout and and see people speak. And uh, again, I don't know what form that would take, but something that that really reminds the world of of the greatness of cinema and make it inclusive in terms of all all cinema from all around the world and and really celebrate where we're at with the art of cinema. I don't know what that would be, but maybe they could do something like that. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to see. Question is, guys, what do you think about this? Do you think maybe like, hey, listen, this is the Oscars. It's not a thing. There were still movies that came out this year, even though it was a weird year. Let's just celebrate it for what it was and have the Oscars. I think there's an argument to be made for that. Or do you think more like me on this point? It's like, you know what? We're missing half the year already. And we could be missing more than half of the year by the time this thing rolls around. And I think it's probably just best to cut bait now and move on, even though I didn't feel that way just a month ago. How do you guys feel about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.